Rod Critic for Houston Community Newspapers. I'm Mark Hader and I play the harpsichord for the Lady Fatima exhibit at Big Bob's Traveling Carnival. But, uh, Brad, this is Lady Fatima's 42nd year, by the way, so y'all come out, it's touring uh, March 8th. It's, it's a great anniversary. It's a great anniversary. And speaking of Catholics, we went Italian. We sure did, Brad. Oh, man, we, upscale Italian. We went upscale again. Luca and Leonardo's. It's Luca this new the Leonardo. upscale Italian restaurant down in the woodlands. And I mean very tray chic. It was tray chic, uh, Brad. You know, if you want to put in a ritzy restaurant, I don't think you can come up with a better area, a better place in this area than the waterway at Woodlands. It's, it that, is, it's a high rent district. Oh, and man. I, I love the sense of arrival there. It's like going down into the catacombs. It is. It's, it's got the, the fancy brickwork and, and it's got statuary uh, in there. It, it's sort of like walking into the past. It is. It, it makes me feel like I don't belong to. But I, I like it. Well, right. then it's, it's serving its purpose as a design because you, you <laughs> don't do I don't belong, and you certainly don't belong. It's running me out of there. Uh, by the way, inside the restaurant, uh, uh, not only a terrific view, we had the waterway down there you can yeah. see. Yeah. Uh, and also the interior looked just, what it, a plush, with cloth napkins and the oh, yeah, uh, cloth. Uh, table cloths. Absolutely. I was out of my element. Good looking way. And, and then they've got a guy walking around who's, who's delivering the bread and the and the, the salsas, and, well it's not salsa, but it's some sort of... of uh, Diced tomatoes. Yeah, that, that, that sort of thing, bruschetta type stuff. And he doesn't speak a word of English. That was great. That you know, was we're good. trying to communicate with hand signals yeah. and semaphore and, and none of that, that's working. What was it you called him? I can't remember. Uh, Italian okay. is what I'm using right now. Okay. Yeah, Thanks. absolutely. <laughs> and the other thing is, they've got all those good looking young people in oh, there with their black okay. pants with the little the little apron that's down in front, the white shirts. They're way too good looking. Their whole life's ahead of them. I hated them immediately. You know, I hope you tipped them big because there were a lot of people you were paying for hey, there. Hey, <laughs> listen, you got no choice. If you're a 15 percenter or above, you're tipping big because it ain't cheap. It's not cheap. What did we get? Do you remember that? We, we Well, the, the menu has, it's one of those things where the restaurant is spelled with an I, so you know it's fancy. Ristorante. Ristorante. And the menu had all sorts of these Italian adjectives sprinkled throughout. Oh, no you kidding. know, it, unless you have three years of high school Italian, you're probably not going to be able to read the menu. Yeah. You know, what do they call appetizers? Was it pinta or something? Pinta? I, I, the, the Nina, the pinta, the Santa Maria. Absolutely. But we we both, we couldn't figure out what we wanted because there's so many weird ingredients. They don't just have a pizza with sausage, pepperoni, and mushroom. They, they've got, you know, parts of a Chevy and, and all sorts of other was, crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, so what do we get? We got the lasagna. Oh, it, it uh, was good. It was, it was really good. <laughs> It was good lasagna, Brad. Uh, before we get into that, let me say this. The menu, while they did have different combinations for pizzas, and they had something up there you could add some different stuff with your pastas, it did not have that extensive a menu, I did not think. It didn't even have biscotti and meatballs or Nothing normal. And nothing you would see at a normal Italian right. mom-and-pop little hole-in-the-wall restaurant. They don't have any of that stuff there. And they're too big and they're too they're fancy for big, that. big, and I don't... You know, I mean, that shows class, I'm sure, but if you're an Italian restaurant, you're known for at least four things. One is biscotti and meatballs, lasagna, pizza, and Vito Corleone. Absolutely. Uh, do your hey. Vito Corleone for him, would you, Brad? Yeah. I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm going to ask for some spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> You're going to bring it to me. You know what I'm talking about? This guy. Yeah, absolutely. We, we spent great. a lot of time talking like that. Oh, you can't shut him up. I knew, you know, what, what the heck. Great lasagna. But, yeah, you know, they've got spaghetti and meatballs. They, they just don't call it spaghetti and meatballs. And I didn't have one of those Berlitz uh, uh, translation yeah. devices. They, they had biscotti, but it was spaghetti with wine and clams, uh, wine sauce and clams. And, Brad, that's not neat. Well, I mean, they, but, they've got marinara sauce. It's all well, over the but place. But they just don't want to put it on the biscotti. Well, apparently not. I'm, I'm sure if you, you screamed out, you could probably get it. Bread was good. They brought out these links of bread with the sliced tomatoes or the uh, bruschetta. diced tomatoes. Yeah, bruschetta. I think it's called bruschetta. Is the, the stuff. I knew you that. could make a meal of just that and then, then waltz out of there beforehand. But... Uh, no, it was it was very good. We we got a dessert too. We did uh, uh, tiramisu. Tiramisu. Tiramisu, which you know it was probably very good. You know a lot of times tiramisu is overly sweet. Not this one. Uh, it was no. yeah. It was almost anti sweet. Bitter. Uh, red tiramisu. This was good. It was a gummy pudding type thing. I don't. 
they called it tiramisu. I don't think it was, but it was good. But tiramisu, I think something light with those four finger, what do they call them? Finger? Yeah, the lady fingers. Lady fingers with the little lady fingers in it. This was all in a gummy uh, thing, but it was good. Just really well, sweet. And topped with, with a, a whipped cream, but not a sweet whipped cream. Right. Uh, so the, the, the bitterness of the coffee really, really came through. It was good. It was unique. It was different. I wouldn't order it again. No. Now the lasagna, unless I'm mistaken, and you you paid the courier paid uh, 14 bucks. Is that what I saw? Yeah, that's that's the lunch price. 14 no bucks. salad. Dinner is 22 dollars, and I didn't see salad mixed with that. In other words, you want lasagna here? All a cart, your baby. Lasagna. All right a cart. Salad eight bucks if you wish to. Pull out your wallet. I'm not talking to you. No, no, I mean, no. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even sure Mark has a wallet. You know, we've it's, been doing um, this for a little over I a year. I found it two weeks ago. I yeah. have nothing in it. Absolutely. Oh, and by the way, Brad, I don't think they're used to takeouts there, people getting takeouts, yeah. because I, I had some leftover uh, lasagna. I wanted to bring home some for Kay, and I asked for the takeout. <laughs> A very yeah. nice. I think they sent somebody to a dollar store and bought something, and then they used the bag to put the container in because it was yeah, it was like a dollar store bag. You're 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 you know, it's fifty bucks for lunch for two people, and you're getting a little dollar store bag. I you know they're they're I expected a swan made out of foil I and you know, I appreciate the waiter not doing this whenever I ask him. At, at least not in front of us. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Luca and Le Leonardo Restaurante, good place. Especially if somebody else is paying the bill. Exactly. That's the way I'm going back. Absolutely. When can we go, Brad? I yeah, to... Not with you, buddy. Eating a salad. Look at Restaurant A. Check it out. I'm Brad Meyer, restaurant critic for Houston Community Newspapers. Mark Hader, columnist for The Courier and The Villager. Until next time, bon appetit. Later. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to take you. you know, I don't know how you noticed, but I was going back and forth yeah, again this I, time. I know. You're, you're just... Uh,